It's Miss Crystal from the Dickinson County Library, and this summer our summer reading theme is Imagine Your Story. So it's all about imagination and creation and fantasy, and I thought it would be really fun to do a weekly series of read-aloud books that you guys can enjoy at home. So this week I thought we'd start with Tom Fletcher's There's a Dragon in Your Book. So this is a very interactive book, so we're going to have lots of fun. And I want to thank Penguin Random House for allowing us to read their books online. Oh, look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched, and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared. It's a baby dragon. Go ahead and tickle her little nose. Everybody point to the dragon and tickle her nose. Tickle her nose. What do you think is going to happen when you tw tickle her nose? Achoo! Uh-oh. The dragon sneezed. Looks like flames. Oops. The dragon accidentally sneezed a fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help Dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. All right, let's all blow out the flame. Just like we blow out candles on our birthday cake. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow out the fire. She blew more fire. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page and tamp it down. That should put them out. All right, let's turn the page and stand. Uh-oh, it didn't work. They're getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put out the fire. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Oh, perfect. Now use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the so point to the can everybody point to the balloon on your screen splash uh oh the balloon popped let's see what happens next hooray you put out the fire give the dragon a high five you have a great imagination and dragon must be a little hungry now why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? How about a triple scoop of yummy ice cold chocolate and strawberry ice cream with sprinkles? Wow, that looks delicious. Yum. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Almost there, keep flapping. Everybody at home, let's flap our wings like a big dragon. Let's see what happens next. There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye and turn the... Wait a second. What's this? Oh, look. More eggs. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Uh-oh. I think it's time to close the book carefully. All right.
right, I hope everybody enjoyed this week's read aloud and I'll see you next week.